I would like to start my speech today by asking you all to take a look at the question mark you see upon the screen in front of you. I want you to think to yourself, what is the greatest problem in the world today? Some of you may be thinking discrimination, war, hatred, greed. And what does that say about the world? That says that the world is missing something. Something that is keeping the world from being in a perfectly peaceful state. That quintessential thing is love. Love is what binds all of humanity together. Love is a common formality that we all share. Yet in the last 20 years, more and more people have begun to question, where is the love? This question became the name of the hit song by the Black Eyed Peas in, two, in 2003, which was released for their third album, Eloquent. The song, Where is the Love, utilizes civic commonplaces and uh, capitalizes on the Kairos of post 9-11 to invoke human citizens to restore the love and humanity to society. The song was written in part by Ron Fair, Will I Am, and Justin Timberlake. It revolves around the issues that are prevalent in society today, such as terrorism, war, greed, and the invasion of Iraq. The song is quite chirotic as it follows the attacks of 9-11, which left the nation in a state of utter despair and confusion, especially after we decided to head off to war in Iraq. The song looks to question our government's intentions as we put our focus in a war overseas while we have problems like the KKK, Crips, and Bloods who continue their own forms of terrorism within the confounds of our nation. The songwriters are not only trying to inform the audience of these problems, but rather inspire them on how they can overcome them. The commonplaces that the song encourages are faith, equality, and love. The song inspires a push towards faith with lyrics such as, Father, Father, help us send some guidance from above. Because people got me, got me questioning, where is the love? Sorry about that, but um, <laughs> so the Black Eyed Peas are endorsing the Christian faith by referencing God. Their strategy is to provoke their audience to turn to their Christian God in this time of need, thus endorsing them to the civic behavior that the Christian faith represents. Examples of this are loving thy neighbor like thy God. The Black Eyed Peas want people to turn to the morals that this God represents, thus a call to action to carve the world they want to live in. The commonplaces of love and equality epitomize exactly what the title is asking for. Lyrics such as, whatever happened to the fairness and equality, instead of spreading love or spreading animosity, the Black Eyed Peas are projecting the world that they see in front of them. These lyrics are bringing forth the need for a change and thus civic engagement. The Black Eyed Peas through these lines want people to make a change. It's a call to action. It is asking every single person to stop and look around. What are you doing in your own lives and in the world? Take a look at your relationships with people. It is asking you to do more, to help more, to be better, and to bring love and equality back to the world. These lyrics in this song was chirotic and had commonplaces that made it perfect as a form of civic engagement. It inspires people to do better and be better. It also urges people to question their leaders when decisions are made that, they don't, seem, that don't seem right to the public. People must start by treating each other better and eventually wars will end, gangs will disperse. This is the call to action. The Black Eyed Peas are giving you the answer to the question, where is the love? The answer is you. You shape the world in which you want to live in. So the Black Eyed Peas want to ask all of you, what will you do to restore the love? Thank you.